Out of the Arabian Nights comes the story of the magic carpet. Many years ago, in the far-off land of Arabia, there lived a sultan who had a beautiful daughter, Princess Minnie Mouse. The sultan had a daughter and her name was Minnie Mouse. The gifts that rich men brought her were enough to fill the house. The daughter of the sultan didn't care for all these fancy gifts and such. The daughter of the sultan wanted someone who would love her very much. One day, two strange-looking travelers came to the gates of the palace. One was called Mickey Mouse. That's me! And the other was called Donald Duck. What? As they stood looking at the great palace, they heard a voice singing. There on the balcony was Princess Minnie Mouse. After day, Mickey went to see Princess Minnie. Finally, he got up enough courage to ask for her hand in marriage. Then Mickey and Donald Duck went to see the Sultan. <laughs> well, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, well, 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 that is your honor. Uh, I mean, highness. Oh, he wants to marry the princess. He wants to marry the princess? <laughs> That's the first good laugh I've had all day. What do you know about supporting a wife? I I'm sure I could, sir. I, I, I love her very much. Well, uh, I love her too, you know. So I gotta be sure she marries someone worthy of her. Are you willing to stand my test? Hey, yes, sir. All right, I'll give you three pieces of gold. Now you take them and go out and buy three things. Yes, sir. Three things. And if you buy wisely, I'll tell you what. You can have my daughter and this funny-looking duck with you. Well, he will become my prime minister. Prime minister? Oh, boy, oh, boy. But if you spend the gold foolishly, you're going to lose your heads, both of you. Uh-oh. For many months, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck travel throughout the land in search of the wisest buy for the three pieces of gold. But they couldn't find the right things. One day, while Mickey was taking a nap, Donald took the gold and decided to try his luck. He looked all around the marketplace and came back with three things. A rug, a rose, and a pearl spyglass. When he showed his purchases to Mickey, Mickey just sat on the old rug and said, Oh, Donald, you were cheated. Yeah, magic, magic. There's nothing magic about these things. Oh, well, I'll just look through the spyglass and see if... Why, it is magic. I can see my princess. But she is very ill. Poor Minnie. I wish I could fly to her side. Hey, the rug, it's moving. Uh-uh. Hold on, Donald. We're flying. It's a magic carpet. The magic carpet, the magic carpet, flying through the air. The magic carpet, the magic carpet, can fly most anywhere. Watch them go, watch them go. 
watch them go. Donald and Mickey Mouse flying on the magic carpet to the Sultan's house. The magic carpet, the magic carpet, flying through the air. Look, Donald! The magic carpet took us right into the Sultan's palace. Oh, wow. Here comes the Sultan now. Oh, so it's you, is it? Huh. It's all your fault that the princess is sick. Hmm. You've got some nerve coming back here. And with that trash... With, with the spyglass, I saw how ill Minnie is. And I flew here on this magic carpet. Oh, that's enough of those lies. You'll pay with your life. Both of you. Uh-uh. Very well. But first, let me give this rose to the princess. Ricky tiptoed to the bedside of his princess, who lay so still and white and gently placed the rose against her cheek. In a moment, she opened her eyes and sat up smiling. For you see, it was a magic rose and had the power to cure any illness. The Sultan was so happy that he gave Mickey and Princess Minnie a fine wedding. After the wedding, they went for a honeymoon trip on the magic carpet. Ah, wait for me, wait for me. And Donald went along too. The magic carpet, the magic carpet, fly.